Hello and welcome everybody. I am Bonnie Brudor and you are watching Puppy Love where we talk about all things dogs. And Puppy Love is brought to you today by the Dirty Dog Treat Box. And so I have been packaging up treat boxes all afternoon. This is our program where um, it's a monthly subscription and every month you get five unique dog products and gifts and really just cool items that we like to expose you to as dog lovers. And so a couple of these are going out to some of our favorite people. We have Laura Leonard, who is one of our product testers and um, one of the first to join the treat box. And then we also have our new favorite person this week, Dominique. And she is um, in, let's see, Oakland, California. And she has been doing some reviews on YouTube and we're really excited. We just, we just packed her a really great box to ship out to her. So. Like every week, we are going to, talk, going to talk about all things dogs. I'm going to bring you an amazing guest that's going to talk to you about two really cool things that she is up to. And as we always do, I'm going to have some giveaways for you um, for watching the show and for donating to the amazing animal rescues and nonprofits that we bring out to this show. So before I introduce you to Heather, I want to tell just a little bit of a story of how I know her. Um, it's one of those six degrees of separation. But when I grew up, as you've heard me say, I wasn't necessarily a dog lover. We didn't have a dog in our home. But my best friend in junior high and onwards, uh, Tasha, her mom did. She had this little dog named Nikki. And I remember we'd always go over to Tasha's house, and her mom would talk to Nikki in this voice. Oh, Nikki, 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 Nikki. And I just thought she was nuts. And I giggled to myself every single day because I am constantly talking to Ginger, our guest. Bring Ginger on for a second here. This is Ginger, the inspiration for Dirty Dog. But I walk down the streets talking to her. I go through my building talking to her, and I just always laugh because of Tasha's mom. And the reason that I tell you that story today is Tasha told me last year about this amazing walk that she was doing in, in Butte County, California, and that it would benefit dogs and animals. So of course I said, I'm in. I don't care. I don't need the details. We will donate. Um, but as I learn more about it, it's really truly an, an incredible organization. We're going to be involved this year as well. We're going to give away um, a, a month worth of treat boxes to every single person that participates in the race. You'll get that in your race bag. But I wanted to bring someone on very special to talk to you about not only that walk, um, but everything that she is up to. This is someone I will have you meet in just a minute. Her name is Heather, and I'll let her say her last name so I don't butcher it. <laughs> Uh, but she is with the Butte Humane Society, and we're going to bring Heather on. She's going to tell us some great things about the walk, how you can get involved, and just some of the things that your donations will go to. So, Heather, welcome to our show. Hello. Hi. Thanks for having me here. You're so welcome. So, I don't know if you know this, but I went to Chico State. So I'm. Oh, I'm really? <laughs> I did. So I, I definitely spent my time um, where you will be doing your race. And can you tell... Um, our viewers, just a little bit about it, how you got started, and what some of um, the details they would need to know. Sure, definitely. Well, um, I uh, I first got involved with Butte Humane Society actually when I was at Chico State. Also, um, I uh, investigated or not investigated. I went and wrote an article about the um, about the pet therapy program there, and that's how I got involved with the organization. That was back in 1999, and. So I've been involved in a lot of different things with the organization over the years, but currently um, one of my main focuses is special events. So, um, of course, Boodwill Bark being our uh, one of our two biggest fundraisers of the year. Actually, very quickly, last year was the first year that we'd had that event. Um, we'd had some similar events in the past, but uh, last year really pulled it all together. We raised over $85,000 and had over 1,000 people register and over 1,500 people attend. So. Um, it was just a really incredible day, and it was a real testament to how much, how many people in our community uh, really support our organization, and have so over the last uh, 102 years that we've been in operation. Wow, 102 years! That is incredible. <laughs> I so wish I knew about the pet therapy program back when I was there, but I, I as I said, I wasn't a dog lover yet, so I didn't know. <laughs> and so I know you had. It's, Growth, right with your race. I mean, wasn't it? I remember hearing about it, and it was the first year. And generally, I've been an event planner for a lot of my career. You know, it takes a while for those things to build. But didn't you have a, a huge turnout, even more than expected last year? 
Yeah, last year we well the previous year we had a smaller a different event that was that was just a walk didn't um, incorporate all of the features that we now have in the Bidwell Bark and we only had about 250 people attend so last year we were aiming to get at least 600 people at our new event uh, the Bidwell Bark and um, when we got to the actual day of the event we had over a thousand fifty people registered for the event which was incredible. Um, a lot of that is is due to the tremendous um, in-kind sponsorship we got from our local radio groups. Um, we get about twenty thousand dollars worth of of media trade with um, the radio alone, and so um, you know over a third of the people who attended the event did so because they had heard about it on the radio. So we were very appreciative for that support and for everyone who helped us just build up this incredible event. And um, we're looking to at least double that again this year. That is fantastic. Yeah, that is a big race. Generally, you, you go the opposite way. I also did race uh, registration technology for a long time, and generally they see a drop off. So that really speaks loudly to your organization and, and what you're up to. And so, can you tell the viewers just some of the programs um, that these donations and participating in the walk will help? Yeah, definitely. Um, we Humane Society, we are primarily an adoption agency. Um, we do take animals from the City of Chico Animal Services as well as um, other groups around town. We also have a rehoming program and, um, and we also have a foster program for animals that we receive who are not quite ready to be adopted yet. We also, uh, just a couple of years ago, started a uh, low-cost spay and neuter clinic, so we do have uh, those services available to the public now also. Um, we also do a variety of outreach and education um, when we can in the community. Uh, we still enjoy a good relationship with Chico State as well as um, a lot of the schools and daycares and everything around town just trying to, um, you know, again, get the community more involved in, in everything that we do and help more animals. Fantastic. And uh, as the viewers know, I'm a huge fan of adoption. I adopted Ginger after she kind of fell into my lap, um, but she also did her time at a Humane Society in Marin County. And um, so I just, I know that there are some really, truly amazing dogs that are out there. I mean, this one changed my life completely and many other lives and because of that, because she inspired me to start a company. And then we've gone on to work with some amazing um, organizations such as yours and many others. And so, I really, what do you want to say to people if they're thinking about adopting a dog and, and they're just, you know, not quite sure the right steps to take or what costs are involved? What should they know? Um, one thing that I do recommend to people a lot is um, if you if you do have a, a specific breed or age in mind and and you and you do want to adopt uh, rather than uh, go to a breeder or a pet store, uh, I really recommend uh, checking out PetFinder.com. Um, every pretty much every shelter and rescue will put uh, their available animals on that website, and it is searchable. So um, that's a great way if you're looking for you know uh, something specific. But um, really, I, I encourage people to keep an open mind and visit their shelter because adoption counselors, uh, you know that that is their job to match you up with the animals that um, would best fit your uh, home and lifestyle. So. Um, I definitely encourage people to, you know, just go and, and see who you make that connection with when you meet the animals in person. That's a really good point. I have a belief that, uh, especially with rescue animals, I think that they choose you just as much as you choose them. And uh, Ginger, you know, came, people have heard her story before she was rescued, and then she was put in um, the Humane Society, and then somebody else had her and a family friend took her and they raised her for her first year. But I actually worked with the father and every single time I would go to their home, Ginger would come right to me. She didn't like anybody because she was very timid, but she'd always come to me. And, you know, we could comment on how odd that was and we had such a tight bond and such a tight friendship and um, it's just interesting how circumstances happened and I ended up being her new mommy. And I, I love that. I love going, you know, having people encourage them to go in and don't, don't Get your mindset on, oh, I need this white breed, you know, that's fine, but also, I would have never known to pick this and it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. So, that's my little two cents on, <laughs> on rescues. And and also, we're actually looking to become foster. Um, Ginger wants to be a foster big sister, she told me. So, we are looking at that program right now. Here, we're, we're in New York, otherwise we could come and do there. But. We have sent out a couple feelers and we're looking at that. I think she would be the great big sister. She is pretty amazing. 
So how do people get involved? If, if I'm watching the show and I want to register for the walk, how would I do that? Okay, you would go to bidwellbark.com. Um, there's a couple of options there. If you have the buttons on the top of bidwellbark.com, there is uh, donate and there is register. Um, and for, uh, for the donation option, if you uh, don't want to actually participate in the event, you can still uh, choose to donate to a participant in the event. Um, you, can, you can search for them by name or, or even uh, leave the field en uh, empty and you can view everyone's and um, you know, see, see who's registered for the event so far. Um, also, if you register for the event, which it is free to register, uh, when you have raised at least $25, um, then you will get the t-shirt and goodie bag and everything at the event. Um, and if you raise more, you will get more additional prizes. We have some fun stuff like uh, the top prize is an iPad this year. You get to 3000 which somebody almost is already, which is really impressive. <laughs> oh, my and, gosh. Yeah, and we, um, when you register, you can choose to uh, register for the 5K run, um, for the 2K walk, or you can register as a lazy dog slash cat napper, which means that you don't have to uh, necessarily participate in the event. You don't even have to come to the event. Um, it's great for people who are out of the area but still want to be involved um, as they're starting or participating in a team that way. Oh, fantastic. And so what I want to do, so you said it's bidwellbark.com, is that correct? Yes, bidwellbark.com. Bidwellbark. Okay. So as we do every week, we have really cool giveaways. And so what I want to do for anyone who's watching, uh, I know in an email exchange I agreed that I would sponsor a team. Not quite sure what that means yet, but here's what I'm going to do. For everyone that is watching and goes to the site and either registers or if you want to be a part of our team, um, that we have a pretty good fan base. Ginger has about 15,000 people following her on her various social media channels. So we can get the word out and help raise some money. But if you go to the website today or after you watch this video and you register and then you go to our Facebook page, which is dirt, uh, Facebook slash Dirty Dog Lover, just let us know that you registered. We will help you raise money and we will send you a bottle of this amazing air cleaner. Um, one of our sponsors is 800 Pet Meds and we just so happen to have a case of this amazing natural although pleasantly scented, it says. Um, ear cleaner, and, and we talk about that every week. It's so important to take care of your pet as well, just like you take care of your own body. You have to take care of their little ears and their little teeth. And so anyone that goes, as I said, you register bidwellbark.com. Let us know on our Facebook page, and we will send you this treat. We will help you raise money, and you're going to get this amazing bag. We know we'll hit that $25 mark, so I know you're getting a T-shirt. But also, you'll get this incredible bag, and then you'll get a treat box, because we are donating a treat box to every single person that races. And Ginger, you better get ready, because if they had over 1,000 people last year, I think you're going to be busy stuffing those boxes. So she's going to do her stretching. See, she's like stretching, getting ready. But we want to support the race, and we want to support the amazing organization behind the race. So hopefully everyone that is watching can go and register, and, um, and we're just making a lot of fun. You'll be on the Dirty Dog team, and we'll probably have some more t-shirts involved with that. I'm not even sure, but I love to give stuff away, so I'm pretty sure that you're going to be spoiled um, run as part of the team. I can guarantee that. So, Well, Heather, thank you so much. Um, any other parting words, parting thoughts that you want to share with people that are watching that are just generally interested in information about dogs? Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you so much again for supporting our event all the way from the other side of the country. We really, really appreciate that. And, and people really got a kick out of seeing the, the Dirty Dog, uh, you know, merchandise last year. And um, we're really glad to have you back again. So, again, thank you for that. And, um, and, and I just, again, it's, it's, it's not mandatory to have a dog to participate in these kind of things. Anyone who loves animals can come out and have fun or support these causes. Um, and, uh, and again, we just uh, thank everyone for their support because this is what keeps us going. We are completely dependent, 100% dependent on donations. We have uh, no other funding any other way. So um, this is what makes it possible. And we hope it's also a lot of fun for everyone who participates, too. Good. Well, thank you. And Ginger has some pretty good big goals with her company. She's really the, um, I'm kind of, you know, second in command. She's the boss, the dirty dog. But maybe if she achieves all of her goals, one of these years we can fly out there 
Oh, that would be so fun. We would and love to have you. And actually do the race, and she can meet everybody. So thank you again for being here. Thank you for all of the hard work you do. I know how much goes into putting on events, especially races. Anything outdoors, it just adds a whole other variety of variables. So thank you so much for the great work that you do. Again, anyone that wants to register, go to bidwellbark.com. Let us know on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash dirty dog lover. And if you watched last week or the week before, you saw Brittany from the Lola Project, and she just got her first treat box and did a video review. So you can actually see Lola. Uh, it's really cute. Lola was actually licking through the box, trying to get to the treats while she was doing her review. So we know that dogs love them, dog tested, and mother approved. And so thank you, everybody, for being here for this episode of Puppy Love. I am Bonnie Bruder, the creator and founder of Dirty Dog and the Treat Box, and this is Ginger. Go out and fetch the wonderful. Bye for now.